Hello and welcome back to the channel for another Doctor Who collection update, this time for April 2022. As ever, lots of stuff to get through today, uh, lots of magazines in particular, past and present, and a couple of other bits and pieces as well, some figures and some little oddities from yesteryear. So first of all, we have Doctor Who magazine issue 576, the issue that came out at the start of April, uh, sort of leading up to the broadcast of Legend of the Sea Devils. Uh, there was lots of great stuff in here about that story, lots of great interviews and, and behind the scenes bits and pieces. Obviously a fantastic cover with one of the Sea Devil warriors on the front, a lovely green colour scheme there and an image of him, fantastic. And uh, yeah, like I say, just, just lots of great stuff uh, as ever particularly great to have all these interviews like with Ray Holman, the costume designer, uh, we had one with the director, we had some interviews with the co-writer at Ella Road and I think Chris Chibnall as well and the cast members and stuff. Uh, so yeah, a, a really great look at the making of that story. Lots of information that we got you know, from this magazine prior to it airing which was really nice. And in the shops, this issue came in a plastic poly bag. Uh, but subscribers didn't get this because the subscriber issues are packaged in just, you know, paper envelopes. But instead, rather nicely, uh, this time round, we got this art card which has on it, you know, the art that would have been on the poly bag, which is nice, you know, to have for posterity. And also filed away uh, in this plastic wallet with it is the poster which came with this issue, which on one side had a big image of John Pertz with a sea devil from the sea devils. And on the other side had uh, this rather special artwork uh, from something which we're going to take a look at right now. It is of course the Doctor Who Discovers Pirates book which also came free with this issue. And it's a pretty hefty thing about I think 50 or 60 pages or something. But yeah basically for those that don't know uh, Doctor Who Discovers was like a range of non-fiction books back in the 70s or 80s or something. And uh, yeah this one it was written, it was drafted, but the range was sort of curtailed and cut short and axed basically before this one could make it out onto the shelves. So uh, basically what DW have done is just publish it now instead with lovely new cover art from Jeff Cummins uh, who did the original ones as well. And uh, yeah, we've got some fantastic stuff in here, you know, fairly generic illustrations and things like stock images. Uh, but the actual text is really nice. It's all told from the perspective of like Tom Baker's Doctor and he's sort of, you know, going off in the TARDIS to discover you know, all about pirates, visiting different pirate ships and bits and pieces and speaking to various sailors and stuff and just saying, oh, you know, can you tell me a bit about, you know, this pirate from this century or something? It's really great. Love the tone of it. Uh, yeah, so really worth tracking this down. And even if you haven't actually read any of the other Doctor Who Discovers books, like, you know, I hadn't either myself, uh, yeah, it's, it's really worth tracking down. I think you'll really enjoy this. We also have the most recent Doctor Who magazine special, Action Figures, The Essential Guide, 1963-1996. to uh, The title is a bit of a mouthful, I think. But that aside, I, I really love this. Uh, basically, the story goes that I actually found this a couple of days prior to its release in a W.H. Smith store that won't be named. Uh, but yeah, basically, I, I was just standing about and I found it and I thought, oh, I'm going to go and pick that up because I had a flick through. And I really like the look of it. And you know, I have seen some people sort of criticize it uh, for, for not quite being what they expected it to be. If you're going into this expecting some massive like behind the scenes interviews and stuff and like analysis uh, and all that sort of stuff, detailed articles, that's not what you get from this. Uh, what you get instead, as you'll be able to see if I just flick through, is basically a lot of images, a lot of big spreads with images on and tiny bits of text like explaining what figures were released when or, or how or whatever and also like just little synopses for the stories as well uh but yeah it's, it's basically a catalog you know, essentially for the classic series figures like a, a visual guide for them uh, and then like right at the start there are some more detailed articles just like one or two but uh yeah so i have seen some criticism for it personally I don't mind this approach, you know, I think it's just quite nice to have like a, a visual guide, a comprehensive visual guide to the classic series figures where you can just, you know, read something and look at them all in one place and, you know, see all the ones you do have and the ones you don't have all together and, uh, yeah, it's, it's just really nice really. So I would definitely recommend uh, you go and pick this up if you are a classic series figure fan or just a Doctor Who figure fan in general. You probably won't learn anything new from it, 
But at the same time, it is just a really nice, breezy read. I mean, I read this in like a single afternoon. Uh, it really is a lot quicker to read than like standard Doctor Who magazine specials and issues and stuff because there is so little text. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just nice to look at the photos and the pictures really. So yeah, definitely recommend this uh, if you are a Doctor Who figure aficionado. Moving on from DWM now, we have another Doctor Who related publication, uh, the Radio Times, and the most recent uh, issue of the Radio Times that corresponds to the most recent Doctor Who story. Uh, so unfortunately, they didn't do a special like themed cover for Legend of the Sea Devils this time round, which was a bit disappointing, to be honest. I mean, this cover is perfectly nice, but very generic. I, mean, I guess you could sort of say maybe that, you know, the sea and the distance and the ships and stuff, maybe that sort of hinting at Doctor Who and pirates and sea devils, but probably not. Uh, but yeah, you know, I, I thought I'd just pick this up anyway, because uh, basically, you know, if, if not for the cover, uh, inside, if I can just find it, there was a uh, particularly revealing interview with uh, showrunner Chris Chibnall. Where's it got to? There we go, there's Chris and a uh, sea devil there as well, uh, the doctor and stuff. So yeah, quite a revealing interview. One of a couple of recent interviews that Chris has done, sort of looking back on his time on the show and stuff, because obviously the year is coming to an end. Uh, so yeah, I felt I just had to pick this up really to get the goss really on, on what he was saying, because a lot of people were sort of talking about it on Twitter and stuff, and there were segments of it online, so you know, you can sort of see the sort of things he was saying, but I wanted to get the full thing. And also, it's just nice to have, you know, the, the Doctor Who uh, Radio Times issue, you know, when there's a new episode out. So, uh, yeah, just, just a shame there wasn't a, uh, a themed cover, really, but uh, what can you do? And speaking of Radio Times issues with Doctor Who themed covers, we have this from 2006, uh, the issue that corresponded with the return of the Cybermen in Rise of the Cybermen and the Age of Steel. Uh, a very nice issue with various bits and pieces inside. Again, if we can just find uh, the relevant bits, here we go. Lovely big spreads about the Cybermen and, and lovely photo shoot images and stuff. Uh, and obviously you get the listings for the story as well. But that's not the reason I got hold of this, I've got to be honest. Uh, the reason I got it is because it came with this, uh, the first Doctor Who sticker album from Merlin Stickers. Now, I never got this back in the day. I got the third one, which was a sort of reddy orange Series 4 themed one, because that's when I got into the show. Uh, and yeah, I've always wanted to sort of go back to this one, which covered like Series 2, and the purple one, which covered Series 3 as well, and, you know, fill them in, or collect the stickers, or just whatever. Uh, and, you know, I had my eye on this issue for a while, this Sidemen one, because obviously, you know, it came inside. It was quite uh, difficult, actually, to, to get it out of the issue, because it was sort of stapled in with extra staples. It was a bit of a nightmare, but I managed to do it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just so nostalgic. I mean, like I said, I never had this particular book, uh, but just nostalgic for Doctor Who stickers in general. Uh, really, really nice. Of course, you get a couple of stickers in there as well at the front and I think uh, some at the back as well. I haven't stuck them in yet because I haven't decided whether I'm gonna, you know, keep this like pristine and maybe just have the stickers separately, like in a binder, like trading cards or something. Uh, Cause I have got a hold of some other ones actually. I got a bundle from eBay fairly recently for a couple of quid and it had like 30 stickers in it. So, you know, I, I am sort of wanting to, to complete the set, uh, but I haven't quite decided whether I'm actually gonna stick them in the book yet or not. But either way, it is so great to have this at last. I mean, like I say, I've had my eye on it for quite a while and I just caved, you know. I mean, maybe the fact that the most recent uh, Doctor Who themed issue of Radio Times didn't have a Doctor Who themed cover was the thing that finally swayed me to get this one instead of make up for it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, love this, love it so much. I mean, if you have memories of this, please let me know in the comments because it, it would be great to hear about them. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hopefully one day having uh, the complete set of stickers. And finally for magazines this month, we have this issue of Doctor Who Adventures from 2010. Now, the story with this goes that I used to get Doctor Who Adventures every week. I used to get it, like, reserved at my local newsagents. But for some reason, they never got this one in. And I'm not quite sure why. And, you know, obviously, like, as a kid, it wasn't like I could just, like, go off somewhere else to get it instead. So I never got hold of this issue. And for years, I've had, like, a complete set of doigts from like the first issue I got, like 56 or whatever it was, all the way through to like the early Capaldi ones or whatever, and this one has always been missing. But missing no more, uh, thanks to Miles, of course, my regular Doctor Who YouTube collaborator who has appeared on the channel multiple times in the past. 
Basically, Miles was letting go of some of his issues with Doctor Who adventures, and fortunately for me, this was one of them. So he's very kindly passed it on to me, along with a couple of other bits and pieces as well. So we have various other uh, Doctor Who Adventures uh, related publications, these sort of special collector's editions, uh, one there with the Daleks, got one with Cybermen as well, and then a couple of smaller ones, uh, this one themed around the Santarans, uh, this one themed around the Children of Time, and this one finally themed around the TARDIS. Now, I think these came free with a newspaper, possibly the Daily Mirror or something uh, back in the day as like a promotional thing, you know, to encourage people to go out and buy Doctor Adventures. Uh, yeah, I had sort of heard of them, never sort of got them, they were never on my radar, uh, but it's, it's great to have them now. So once again, a thank you to Miles for them. And the icing on the cake uh, was this, uh, a free gift from Doctor Adventures that Miles had going spare as well. Uh, he's not even sure how he had this or why he had this and why it was still sealed But he said to me, you know, do you want it? And I said, yeah, of course, absolutely. <laughs> yes, please So uh, yeah, great to have one of these in the packaging because I, I do have one out of the packaging already But it's a bit knackered so it's nice to have one, you know, sealed away and, and pristine I'm not gonna be opening it, just leaving it as it is uh, So lots of lovely Doctor Adventures related goodies there A massive thanks to Miles uh, for sending them my way on to figures now, and we have two very exciting uh, figure finds to talk about this month. Out of the two of them, this is probably the least exciting one, because it is just a very minor uh, variant. I mean, essentially, it is best a variant that you might not even realise exists, but it is the Vash Narada as it appeared in the Vest Perform build a figure wave, uh, which can be differentiated from the other release, purely by the fact that it's got great thumbs um, and that, that's literally the only difference so it's not a major variant by any means but it was one that I was missing and also I only had one fashion errata you know previously so it's nice to have two now to sort of have them either side of a song on, on the shelf but the main reason I picked this up was because it came sealed in the original packaging you know with the, the vest before piece which is like the the clear a uh, base of of the stand and it's only like you know 15, 16, 17 quid or something ridiculous like that on eBay. I saw it and I just knew I had to had to go there and I, I had to buy it really. And yes, I do already have a complete vest before them, uh, but not all of the pieces were bought brand new. Quite a few of them were second hand and not in like pristine condition or anything. Uh, so the base, for example, that I had previously, again, came from Miles actually, and it was perfectly serviceable, it was perfectly nice, you know, perfectly fine. But uh, yeah, when, when I saw the opportunity to buy a new pristine one, I knew I couldn't pass it up basically and uh, here we are and I got an extra Vashnarada thrown in with it as well for the bargain price of like 15 quid. Cannot argue with that. But by far the most exciting figure find of the month and probably the whole year so far as well actually is this. The third Doctor and Sea Devil from the Sea Devils. Uh, oh my god, I mean, this is like one of those sets that I, actually, I can't actually believe I've got in my hands here in front of me. It is absolutely bonkers. And, you know, once again, I didn't pay over the odds for this. I mean, I wouldn't have bought it if I had to pay over the odds. Uh, but very, very fortunately for me, uh, an opportunity came up basically to get a hold of this for a decent price. Basically, fellow Doctor Who YouTuber at Doctor Who Home, or Owen, got in touch with me to say that he'd seen one of these on a local auction site, and he knew I was missing it, and it was going for a, a really good price, and so he basically said to me, you know, do you want me to ship it over to you? To which, of course, I said, absolutely, yes, please. The only snag being that Owen lives in Ireland, and so the set was also located in Ireland. And so the gap from Owen posting it to me and it arriving on my doorstep was quite long. But uh, it was so worth it in the end. I mean, at one point I did wonder whether, you know, this, this set had been eaten by the Merker or something uh, in, in transit. Because, of course, the fantastic thing about this, or one of the fantastic things about this, is that rather uh, suitably and uh, fittingly and, and topically, it's actually travelled across both land and sea uh, uh, to get to me. I don't know if it was in like a boat or a plane or whatever. I don't know how, how it works when stuff ships over from Ireland. Uh, but that's a lovely little added little touch to it as well. And, of course, the fact that it came about so close to the Sea Devil's return on TV and, and their fifth anniversary as well. I mean, unfortunately, it didn't quite get to me in time for the episode. It arrived a little while after the episode had aired, 
Uh, but again, that was no fault to, uh, of anybody's. It's just, you know, the way it works with, with Ireland and international postage, I guess. Uh, but yeah, really pleased that it has actually now reached me in one piece. And oh boy, does it bring the shelf to life, and particularly this guy on the left. Uh, this is the definitive Pertwee variant. It is one I've wanted for so, so long. I mean, obviously, it was the first one they were released. And it's the most iconic costume of Pertwee's they've done so far, I think, you know, by far. So having it on the shelf, you know, alongside all the other unit characters and Joe Grant and monsters and stuff, it just suddenly really brings the uh, the Pertwee section of the shelf to life, which is fantastic. And obviously there's Sea Devil as well. I mean, the, the Sea Devil actually, the, the Wave 1 uh, original release was actually the very first Plastic Series figure I got way back in like 2010 or something. Uh, so that one is quite worse for wear now. I mean, it's, it's not too bad, but it, it's a little bit worse for wear. So it's nice to have a, a pristine version. And of course this uh, revised color scheme as well. I'm not quite sure which one I prefer actually. Um, I mean, they both bring something interesting to the table. It's certainly nice to have this one alongside uh, the other one. So yeah, massive, massive thanks to Owen slash Doctor Who Home for this. I mean, it's just amazing to think that it's come all the way from Ireland to get here. Uh, it's just amazing to, to finally have it in front of me and on the shelf. Just, just so, so cool. And uh, yeah, the hunt to complete my Doctor Who figure collection continues. I will put up now on the screen a sort of uh, image, a list of all the figures I'm still trying to track down. If you have any of the classic series ones in particular and you're offering them for a reasonable price, then yeah, I would be interested. So please do get in touch on Twitter or Instagram or whatever or in the comments and uh, yeah, we'll sort something out. And last but not least for this month, uh, we have various sort of pocket money items, I guess. Uh, so the end of time, time squad wave, and then a couple of expandable flannels. Uh, selective time squad first. Basically, uh, I never really did time squad, actually. I, I never sort of got on that particular bandwagon back in the day when they came out. I got a couple of them when they did the, uh, the more recent wave in 2015, the 12th Doctor wave. But even so, it was sort of a bit of a sort of blind spot for me. And basically, uh, what drew me to, to this wave as a starting point was, of course, this chappy over here, uh, John Sims uh, Master, who, of course, is a, is a collect and build figure. So you get all six of the figures here on the left, and each of them come with, with, with a part, obviously, and then you put them all together and, and you build that figure. So, uh, yeah, th that was part of the appeal, basically, because I've done all of the five inch collect and build figures. And, uh, you know, this was on my radar and then essentially I saw a really great listing on eBay where it had five of them. So all of the monsters and all the ones apart from David Tennant, uh, those five for like five quid plus postage. So I thought, well, I'm not going to pass on that opportunity to, to get hold of them. So I got them and obviously I then had, you know, five parts of the End of Time Master. So all of it apart from the head. Uh, he was headless through it because the head comes with 10th Doctor figure. But fortunately, I was able to track one of them down uh, more recently for a, a fairly decent price as well. And not quite as good as the other five, uh, but, but not a bad price either. So, uh, yeah, I'm really pleased to have this, this wave, actually. Uh, and these figures are a lot smaller than, than I was expecting really and the packaging is as well in particular because they come in this lovely little single carded packaging based on the end of time uh, sort of mimicking the, the style guide of the, the bigger five inch figures. And then on the right down here we have two Doctor Who expandable flannels again from the original RTD era when there was so much merch and uh, yeah basically the story with these goes that I saw an image of them online or on eBay or somewhere, somehow, fairly recently. And they unlocked memories that I, I didn't even know I had. You know, I'm fairly sure that once upon a time, I had maybe one of these or even both, I'm not quite sure, maybe the Dalek one. But either way, yeah, that flannel is no longer with us. I don't know where it got to. Uh, so when I saw the opportunity to get a couple of these on eBay uh, for just like a couple of quid for the, for the pair of them, again, I, I couldn't refuse. And I have left them in the packaging, tempting though it is to open them up and to, to do the whole thing, you know, putting them in water and watching them 
expand. I mean, maybe if I can get hold of another one, I, I might open that one and sort of see how, how that works, because I am quite curious, and keep these two sealed. Uh, but yeah, for now, I am keeping these sealed, like I said. I mean, they're such tiny little things. They do look quite nice in the packaging. And uh, yeah, what else can I say, really? It's, it's a slice of nostalgia. Uh, I mean, all of this is the Time Squad as well, really. So yeah, really pleased to have all of these items. And uh, that brings this month collection update to a close. So there we have it for another month. Everything I add to my Doxu collection in April 2022. Massive thanks to both Owen and Miles once again for their help in securing some of the items here in front of me. And if you want to get your hands on any of the stuff here in front of me as well, uh, links to anything that is still available online will be in the video description. Please do leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you want to go one step further, you can support me on Patreon via the link in the description. I'll see you next month for another Doctor Who collection update. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye for now.